Hi, my name is Romano Ross and today we are going to look at the three ways to introduce DevOps. Now we are going to look at the first way to introduce DevOps. The first way to introduce DevOps um, is the way where we are going to put value as fast as possible from development or from the business into a production to operation or to the customer. The goal why we are doing that is we want to heavily reduce the lead time so that we can get a fast flow of value into production. We do that by automating stuff, by implementing a proper continuous integration or a continuous deployment pipeline. The second goal which we have is to increase the throughput. So we want to deliver more value to the customer and we do that by first making the work visible. We do that by introducing a Kanban board or a Scrum board to visualize the work or the flow through the system. And secondly, we are going to reduce the batch size. We want to have small items, small features, small value items, which flow through the system, not the big items or the big uh, chunks, because we want to optimize for throughput. The third goal which we have is to, um, to reduce the deployment uh, time. We uh, do that by um, reducing the intervals. Instead of having every half year or every three months a release, we are going to release every month, for example, or every two weeks, or even um, when code is committed. And for that, we need to automate uh, our continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline to be able to do that. And of course, when we want to do that, we also have the goal to increase the quality of work which goes to the customer. And for that, we need to build in the quality. We need to build in and automate the quality testing. So we need to have a proper continuous integration pipeline with automated testing directly in there so that we can reduce the deployment pipeline, increase the throughput and um, reduce the lead time. And this enables us for the last goal where we want to experiment. Um, because we can now deliver value very fast into production, we are able to do experiments and to constantly improve ourselves and the flow of value through uh, the system to the customer. So the first way to introduce DevOps is get value as fast as possible from development or from the business to the customer into production to operation.